What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension overview. So this week we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to place components onto faces. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, components onto faces. Plugin developer, Chris Fulmer. How much does it cost? It's free. Where do you get it? You can download it using the link in the notes below or by searching for components onto faces in the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. This extension is designed to place components across a group of faces. You do this by selecting a series of faces as well as a component and then selecting components onto faces. Sometimes when working with faces that aren't 100% flat, this will lead to doubling up of components because faces are split up into triangles with hidden geometry. To avoid this, use the Components onto Face Collections option. Components are placed onto the center of faces based on their component axes. So to center objects onto faces, you'll likely have to adjust your component axes. Once the components are placed onto your faces, they maintain their component functionality, allowing you to customize the look of your objects quickly and easily. When coupled with some creativity, this extension can help you create some really interesting shapes. So that's where we're going to wrap up this extension overview. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you have some ideas for how to use this? Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.